Let's talk for a moment about nutrient adequacy and satiety. This is harder to study, but there is interesting research looking at unique nutrients in animal foods, and this is something I've talked about an awful lot, that are probably very important for human satiety. The title of this paper is Novel Aspects of Health Promoting Compounds in Meat. I think it's a fascinating one. The authors say meat provides often overlooked components of importance for human health. These are amino acids and bioactive compounds that may be very important in preventing muscle wasting diseases such as sarcopenia, reducing food and caloric intake to prevent metabolic syndrome, blood pressure homeostasis via ACE inhibitory components from connective tissue, and maintaining a functional gut environment through meat-derived nucleotides and nucleosides. In addition, meat could be an important source of phytanic acid, which is a branched chain fatty acid that appears to be critical for human health and is only found in animal foods. The last sentence of this abstract has me pretty skeptical. <laughs> they say further, it becomes increasingly apparent that the design of an in vitro meat will be possible. <laughs> this is not a good way to go. <laughs> and this development may lead to improved health benefits from commercially viable and sustainable meat products. You guys know how I feel about that. There's a very sustainable way to make meat it is by regenerative agriculture. So disregard the last sentence of this abstract, which has me a little bit dubious of these authors in general, but they do make important points about the nutrients in meat, reducing food intake, creating satiety, being beneficial for blood pressure, homeostasis, connective tissue. Uh, I love that they talk about a gut environment through meat-derived nucleotides and nucleosides, which is something that very few people talk about, the importance of meat for a healthy gut microbiome. So these are all critical components of what makes meat and organs a big part of satiety for humans. So just earlier today, I was filming a reel for Instagram and I had all of the organs laid out. I had heart, I had liver, I had spleen, and I had kidney, and I had bone marrow. And I was talking about the nutrients in all of those organs. It's important to realize that when I say meat, I mean meat and organs. Our ancestors thought of meat as meat and organs, not just muscle meat. Muscle meat is one type of meat, but there's also liver, heart, spleen, kidney, pancreas. Our ancestors would never have wasted these organs, which is why I am such a big fan of getting organs into your diet. It's hard for a lot of people to get organs in your diet, which is why I built heart and soil. If you need more organs in your diet, I believe getting more organs, either fresh or desiccated in your diet, will significantly improve your overall quality of life. You can check us out at heartandsoil.co. That's .co. Along the same lines of meat, is dairy. And this is a very interesting aside that I'll just touch on for a few minutes. Here's a review article from Food and Nutrition Research. The title of the article is Milk and Dairy Products, Good or Bad for Human Health? An Assessment of the Totality of the Scientific Evidence. This was published in 2016. They say the most recent evidence suggests that intake of milk and dairy products was associated with reduced risk of childhood obesity. That's interesting. Are the fats in milk perhaps crowding out the seed oils? There are interesting, important fats in milk, things like stearic acid, odd chain fatty acids, which I'll mention in a moment. They go on to say, an adult's intake of dairy products was shown to improve body composition, facilitate weight loss during energy restrictions. That's an energy restricted weight loss trial. Uh, intake of milk and dairy products was associated with neutral or reduced risk of type two diabetes and a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, particularly stroke. Among cancers, milk and dairy intake was inversely associated with colorectal cancer, bladder cancer, gastric cancer, breast cancer, and was not associated with risk of pancreatic ovarian cancer or lung cancer, while the evidence for prostate cancer risk was inconsistent. Finally, consumption with milk and dairy products was not associated with all-cause mortality. So the authors of this assessment of much of the scientific evidence suggests that dairy is beneficial for humans. Before I move on to talk about raw versus pasteurized milk, I do want to talk about odd chain fatty acids. These are yet another component of animal foods, specifically animal fats like dairy that are associated with human health that are not found in plant foods. But no one ever talks about odd chain fatty acids because we don't hear about it in nutrition. There are all of these nutritional components many of which are predominantly found or exclusively found in animal foods that appear to promote satiety, that associate. We can't draw a causative inference, but there's a strong, consistent association between these nutrients and improved health in humans. Odd chain fatty acids, pentadecanoic acid, hexadecanoic acid are just some of those. They say pairing our findings with evidence that C15, which is pentadecanoic acid, is not readily made endogenously in the human body. Lower C15 dietary intake and blood concentrations are associated with higher mortality and poorer physiologic state. And three, 
C15 has demonstrated activities and efficacy that parallel associated human benefits in humans. We propose C15 as a potential essential fatty acid. An essential fatty acid found almost exclusively in animal foods. Imagine that. Sorry, vegans. Further studies are needed to evaluate the potential impact of decades of reduced odd chain fatty acid containing foods as contributors to C15 deficiencies as susceptibilities to chronic disease. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Almost all of the foods that are high in C15 and C17 are vilified, and you are told to not eat them. Hmm. Maybe we made a mistake in mainstream nutrition. Imagine that.